97.6%. That's the amount coverage that the moon's going to be blocking out the sun in Springfield tomorrow. And I know a lot of people are probably asking themselves, oh, that's a basically 100, right? What's the difference between 97 and 100%? Well, the difference is night and day, and that is literally the difference between the two. 97% coverage is about the same as kind of a cloudy day. It's about an overcast skies. But if you get to 100% totality, it is like nighttime, and the only illumination that you have is a full moon outside. It is eerie how it goes from a cloudy day to nighttime in just minutes. That's going to be happening about 154, 155, depending where you live into the Ozarks. Temperatures are also something that is pretty unique once you get into the eclipse. I'm forecasting temperatures at 1 p.m. before it to be in those mid 70s. We'll have a little bit of a breeze out of the south. But once that moon starts to block out the sun, yes, it's going to get darker and temperatures are going to start plummeting as well. It can be a 10 to 15 degree difference. I'm expecting us to get into those 60s. So we're going to go from mid 70s, shoot on down to mid 60s. And then once the sun or the moon pushes out of the way, the sun comes back out, we'll be warming back up. Something else that can happen is the winds tend to get a little bit lighter during an eclipse and they can even change directions. So if you're going to path of totality, make note of that. Wonder if you can feel it. They call it the eclipse wind. That's something that you can be looking out for. I want to highlight some towns that are going to be in the path of totality. We've been talking about West Plains. We've been talking about Harrison as well. We want to highlight some of the smaller towns in our area that still you can go to that you maybe beat some of the crowd and still get a great view that's going to be happening. Uh, Donovan, Alton, Horseshoe, Bend, Mountain Home, Mountain View, and Roosevelt are some areas in our viewing area that you can go to and watch this event unfold. And I hope you get a chance to do it because the next total eclipse will not be happening in America until 2044. That's going to be in Montana. The next one in the Ozarks is going to be in 2045. Temperature is starting to decrease right now. We're still hanging on to the 50s. I think once we get later tonight, we're going to be decreasing into the 40s, but easily dodging any freezing temperatures are going to be on the table. We had very fast winds is because, well, this line of really thunderstorms was moving across the area. That low pressure system was causing winds to pick up. We didn't see any really rain for us today. That's going to be the case for tomorrow as well. All this activity is moving out east, which means winds are going to be calmer for Monday. Now we are expecting mostly sunny conditions for Monday. There's going to be a few high clouds thrown into the mix. I got it paused at noon. Let's progress it to 2 p.m. when totality is going to be happening. I think we can have a few high cirrus clouds in the path of totality, but I don't think it's going to be enough cloud cover to really kind of ruin the view of the eclipse that's going to be taking place. And something to note is once we get into Monday night, we can have some rain chances returning, but right now it's looking like most of that rain is going to be in central Arkansas. And it's going to try to spill in northern Arkansas as well. I think most people will be staying dry for Tuesday here in the Ozarks, but then we have more chances of rain on Wednesday and overnight Wednesday, overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning as well. Most of the rain, it's looking like it's going to progress as it's going down to the south, but here we still get a good amount of rain. I just think people north of I-44 aren't going to see the heaviest totals that are going to be coming this week. Those chances of rain are kind of sandwiched in the middle of the work week. I think Tuesday and Wednesday are the best chances to see it. But Thursday, that's trending dry and then Friday, we're getting sunnier. We're getting warmer as well. Having 81 forecasted on the seven day forecast for next weekend and the lows up there nowhere near 32 degrees for any day, Sydney. Fun fact about Matt and I in 2017, believe it or not, we were actually in the same place for the eclipse, for the solar eclipse. We, we didn't know each other back then. We didn't know each other back then, but we figured out that we were both in Columbia, Missouri for the solar eclipse. You were near a tree, you told yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I went out to a field so I could hear the mm -hmm. crickets, I could see the birds. You stayed on campus, right? I did stay on campus. I was near Jesse Hall on the quad, watching, looking up at the sky, and I. you explained how eerie it gets. It wasn't super eerie because I was surrounded by hundreds of Mizzou students, but still, it was so weird because you're like, it's one in the afternoon and it's completely dark yep. outside. So I'm excited for that tomorrow. I'll be in West Plains. Matt, it doesn't sound like you have plans. I'm going to be in the studio, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, too bad. Well, at least you got to see it in 2017. Yeah, I got to see it once. All right, thanks, Matt. Well, still ahead, two of the nation's 